The biggest of our three paintings by Caravaggio is this one, the Madonna of the Rosary, painted around 1608. We can see also the commissioner of the painting on the left side uh, as an assistant to the saint, Saint Dominic. But we don't know who is the commissioner, we just can see him, but we don't know his name. Beneath the divine we can see also normal people kneeling on the ground, wanting to take part of the rosaries given away by Saint. Only the poor figures and a wealthy man to the left are dressed in traditional contemporary garb. This, combined with Caravaggio's famous use of light and dark, lead the viewer to ask what or who is real and what or who is conjured. The meditative trance provided by the rosary prayer could summon these figures, saints, martyrs, and the virgin, to anyone capable of prayer. Even people with dust on their feet could be in the company of Christ and his saints. You can see that he was grappling with his sins and his faith in his work. In the taking of Christ, for example, he paints himself into the scene, rushing in with the guards, eager to witness the betrayal, the arrest of Jesus. He holds a lantern, signifying the power of the artist to illuminate the stories that mean the most to us, to make them personal, realer than real. Maybe it is possible to know what it was like for people to see a Caravaggio painting for the first time in 1605. His light has traveled 400 years through time. Caravaggio painted lovely fruity pictures with grapes and apples. And he also painted pictures of people having fun, playing cards, telling fortunes. But he's most famous for his dark, dramatic pictures. Look at Medusa with a hair of snakes, or the Bible story of what beautiful Judith did to people she didn't.